Hi guys, uh, today we are going to look at how do we install Citrix license server. I downloaded uh, Citrix virtual apps and desktop 9.06 and uh, before I begin the installation, just want to show uh, the server name of uh, this box is ls and you need to make sure that whenever you download a license file uh, you give the same uh, license uh, uh, you give the same host name in the uh, license downloading uh, uh, you know uh, portal so if you look at if you open this license file which I had already downloaded then you will see the host name here uh, which is again case sensitive. You need to make sure that uh, because the host name here is a uh, small case, you need to make sure that your server uh, has has the same name. And uh, this is also added uh, to a domain called as ctx.local. Right, so let me quickly go ahead and initiate the installation. So I had already mounted. Uh, the ISO file. Let me launch the ISO file and then go ahead with the auto select. Now it launches this wizard of uh, Zen apps, uh, virtual apps, and virtual apps and desktops. Uh, so it doesn't matter which one you select here. So I'll go with apps and desktops. And then uh, here, if you look at, there's an option here called as license server, right? So this is what we are going to go and install. Right, so let me quickly initiate this. So, which initiates the uh, you know installation. Uh, say next. Select uh, the license agreement and say next. And then the product that which it is going to install is a license server. And you see here uh, the directory where it gets installed, which is in C programs files and then Citrix. I'm not going to change that. I'll leave that default. And it requires the port number 7279, 27000, 8083 and 8082. So these are the ports that which uh, a Citrix license server uses and we'll be discussing about these ports in a separate video. But need to make sure that uh, uh, you know you have these ports configured uh, you know at uh, your firewall level as well. Right. So I'll select uh, these ports and I'll automatically uh, I, I select this automatically option uh, just to make sure that uh, uh, the installation wizard itself will, uh, um, you know, um, create those required rules um, for the for the firewall. And then it gives you summary which says, uh, uh, you know, what are the what are the what do you call it as, uh, what is the directory you are installing and what's the component you are installing and of course the firewalls. Uh, what is the ports which is 7279 27800 and 8082 and go ahead and install it so it started installation so it has installed the license server now it's installed it's doing post installation in a component initialization There you go. So uh, this completes the installation of uh, uh, of the of the uh, license uh, uh, server. Right, I'll click on finish and I'll close this window. Now you need to configure this. Uh, it's just an installation of component is done. So if you go to add remote programs. Now what you see here is. Uh, Though it shows as it is an app and desktop 7.1906.1, uh, but you actually installed the component within that which is your license server. So let me go ahead and uh, check uh, here in the start menu, and you see the Citrix uh, consoles, you see license and administration console, and of course, you also see a license manager console. So I'll get into this license administration console, uh, which basically, um, you know, prompts me uh, to navigate to the website itself. So some secure certification validation here. 
and I'll you can see it by default it hasn't got um, you know any license uh, components what are the, the it just quit got a license server diagnostics and then startup license that's all right so in order to kind of import your license so you need to log into this using uh, the user id with which you actually installed it so i'll use the same account which i used so the administrator account and then password and uh, you are in right so now you can see it uh, the version of license server is 11.15 uh, and then build 27000 and license server management code is 27000 license server name fully qualified domain name ip address and then mac address and other stuff so now in order to import your license file you need to go to this option called as vendor daemon and which gives you this option of import license right so just click on that and browse the location of your license file which is uh, uh, located on your desktop and then say open and then import the license now you see this uh, uh, file got imported and it says that you successfully uploaded the file to this directory and if you observe it carefully the directory where the license file gets imported is uh, a c program files x86 citrix licensing under this there's a folder called as my files into which this license file get, will get imported right so say okay now if you go back to your dashboard uh, you don't see uh, these uh, uh, the, the uh, future the products for which you have licenses uh, they are not listed here now all you need to do is you need to quickly restart uh, the, the service uh, licensing service citrix license service and uh, let me quickly do that so here you go citrix licensing and then restart it so now uh, you just let that complete. So now you restarted the service. Now if you go and click on the dashboard, now it shows you all those, uh, what do you call it as licenses that which you have got uh, in that license file. So now you got uh, advanced, um, what do you call it as the apps and desktops advanced and then apps and desktops uh, advanced user device and concurrent users and so on so you can see all these products the you know the licenses of the products that which you have right so this is how you can install uh, what do you call it as a license server and import licenses onto your citrix license server thanks thanks for watching i wish you have a great day bye